Hi, today is Wednesday, November 4th. I hope you're having a blessed week. Um, if not, it's not too late. Start today. Have a blessed week and have a blessed day. I'm helping you this week come up higher with God. Uh, yesterday, we talked about the Word and the power of the Word, coming up higher with God's Word, that it is powerful, it's alive, it's sharper than a two-edged sword, ripping away the flesh. Well, today, Proverbs 15, 24 is on my heart, and I want to share it with you. It says, the way leads upward for the wise. Did you hear that? Upward. Several years ago, my first trip to Argentina, uh, I was told something I wasn't aware of. We were uh, in Buenos Aires, a beautiful city. And when you go down the streets, there's businesses, you know, up. it's a huge city. So they're just stacked one up on another. And a uh, very neat, clean city. Jason Exley, I think, was with me on the first trip I went. Powerful. And uh, was told when you're going down the street, you can go up, but never go down. Not down the street walking, but there were steps going down under each shop. There were shops that were street level. There were shops you'd take steps up. Then there were shops going down. Down was the unseemly places. It was uh, the sex trade. It was... Uh, movie studios of, of uh, obscenity. It was uh, the bars. It was the, the places that they didn't want to be really seen by everybody and visited by everybody. So if you went to these places, you had to go down. Isn't that interesting? The way of the wisdom is upward. Those that walk upward are wise. God has made a path for you and he wants to take you higher. So today we're going to talk about the things that you've struggled with in your life that want to keep you down and want to keep bringing you back down. And that's not the way of wisdom. The way of wisdom says, I'm going up. I'm going to leave those ways behind. You may ask, why does the enemy keep bothering me with the same old thing? Because you keep walking down the same steps. You keep going down. And as long as you keep falling for the same thing over and over and over again, He'll continue to use it. Why does he need to move on? He's got you there. The Word of God says, confess your faults one to another. The book of James says this, so that so you may be healed. Confessing your faults, telling someone, hey, I'm struggling in this area. Accountability is a wonderful thing. If you really want to go up higher, you got to live in the light. You got to be honest. You got to be true. You got to be real. And so I encourage you to come out of darkness. Climb up those steps. If you've allowed yourself to go back down into addiction, if you've allowed yourself to go back down into secret temptation, if you've allowed yourself go back to go back down into complacency, shake yourself off, walk up those steps, and say, according to Proverbs 15, 24, the way of wisdom is up, and I need to go up. So I'm climbing the stairs now. It doesn't matter how low you go. It determines, are you going higher? Are you climbing up? Because that's where the wise people are going. They're climbing higher and higher and higher. And I want to be counted among the wise. Don't you? Don't you want to be wise? Um, wisdom is all that. You know, sometimes we say, eh, something's not all that. Wisdom is all that and a bag of chips. It's great. It's great to be wise. And uh, I want you to be wise. I want my friends to be wise. I want my acquaintances to be wise. I want people attached to the ministry I lead to be wise. I want people attached to the church that I pastor to be wise. And any group I'm involved in, I hope the people in that group are wise. They are if they're going upward, if they're climbing in God. So today I encourage you, come up higher. Go higher in Him. Don't go low. Go high. Love you guys.